Picture this, a survey so detailed it records not just land and property, but even the livestock and tools. This isn't a modern government census, it's the Domesday Book of 1086. Imagine the sheer detail of it, an 11th century record commissioned by none other than William the Conqueror himself. The depth of detail in the Domesday Book is what sets it apart, making it a fascinating historical document. While no physical census sheets exist from this period, the Domesday Book is a testament to the meticulous record-keeping of the times. So why would a king commission such a thorough survey? The answer is simple, yet profound. Control. In a time of shifting allegiances and uncertain loyalties, William the Conqueror needed a firm grip on his newly won kingdom. He was all too aware that knowledge equates to power, and what better way to consolidate his rule than to understand the wealth and resources of England? The Domesday Book, in essence, provided a detailed snapshot of the kingdom, an invaluable resource in the hands of a shrewd ruler. It also facilitated efficient tax collection, contributing to the royal treasury and further strengthening his reign. The Domesday Book was not just a census, it was a tool of power and administration. Fast forward to the present day, the Domesday Book's significance goes beyond its original administrative function. This legendary manuscript serves as a time capsule, offering us a peek into the socio-economic fabric of 11th century England. From details about land ownership to the number of livestock, this record provides invaluable insights that help us understand the everyday life of the medieval period. Scholars, researchers, and even the casually curious find immense value in the Domesday Book, using it to piece together a vivid picture of the past. It's not just about the grandeur of kings or the clamour of battles, but also about the humdrum of ordinary lives. The Domesday Book, a thousand-year-old document, continues to enlighten us about our past, reminding us that history is not just about kings and battles, but also about lands, livestock and everyday life.